Dimp Digital presents Idle Game Chat. Cool. Diablo 4 is the next gen action RPG experience with endless evil to slaughter, countless abilities to master, nightmarish dungeons and legendary loot. Embark on a campaign solo or with friends meeting memorable characters for a beautifully dark setting and a gripping story or go rogue with an expansive end game and shared world where players will meet in towns trade team up to battle world bosses or descend into pvp zones to test their skills against other players no lobbies necessary with cross play and cross progression available on all platforms this is the only this is only the beginning of diablo 4 with new events stories seasons rewards and more looming on the horizon yes we know that Diablo has got a lot of content coming out and a lot of expansions. <laughs> soon, I, think, isn't it? I don't know if it's ever going to end the onslaught of stuff for that. <laughs> but that's Diablo 4. I've not played it. I played Diablo 3 back in the day, but you are... As a co-op. As a co-op with <laughs> Logan and Paper. That was the original. That was the actual as a co-op. The actually. OG squad. That's that where was that came the, from. That was. That but was you, his... you were, you're a fan of these little... I have to describe them. What are they? You tell me. ARPGs, they are called. Action role playing game. I don't get a lot of action, is it though? Just clicking and pressing buttons. Exactly. I've always wondered that. It should be (laughs) clicking role playing game. I do love them. Like, they are the. Torchlight was that one you played not long ago, but it was probably years ago at this point. A couple of years ago, wasn't it? Um, Yeah, there's Torchlight. Oh, it's fucking hundreds now. There's. Uh, Pillars of Eternity, I think. Okay, that's yeah. One thing. Uh, vampire Survivors? No, not Vampire Survivors. Vam- What's it called? Uh, oh, v yeah, Rising? V Rising, yeah, that's essentially the same thing, isn't it? Well, we, me, Paper, and Dave are playing that. Oh, yeah. Dave rented a private server. I told him not to because <laughs> of slowness. And then yeah. he got impatient and it's gone now. Oh. So 12 hours flushed <laughs> thanks to. Thanks the whims of Dave. I mean, he's going to be annoyed that I've p- positioned it like that. Cause that's not totally true, but that's, <laughs> that's now in the Dimp Law books, unfortunately. Unless that's he wants dude. to come on and quibble the, yeah. the the exact for that, so you'll have Is to that... get that and have a little play with me on there. Local games, and there's no pressure. No, no well, outgoing funds. Good. But yeah. No, yeah, I suppose these... it is. Yeah, but yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, they're normally these top down, and like you say, it's just click and fucking hammerheads, and that is it. Mm. Loot and go, loot and go. Is Diablo your favourite of those types, or not? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, it is just because of the loot um, setting as well. It's quite fun. Like I, I, I do like the lore. I'm not. I don't go full fucking. But even though I do watch a lot of YouTubers that mm. solely do Diablo and they go through like lore runs and tell you it's quite interesting some of it. Like all this basically, you know, heaven versus hell standard shears. Um but yeah, it's it's fun. Certainly this one is more story out well, I wouldn't say more, but it's it has more of a cinematic feel compared. Them fucking cutscenes are something else, aren't oh, they? Mate, yeah. That since <laughs> I don't know, uh, what was it? They did, t- oh, they remade two, didn't they? they had one and two. I never played one and two because no. they were like proper old school. Like, if Ancient you go back to them now, you're like, oh, fuck me. Did they remaster two? Was it they two remastered two? two. I would like to go back to it because it did look like four. Hmm. But trouble is now, it, I've been poisoned because of oh, how sort of. Every, exactly, how sort of el- evolutionized. That's not even a word I've made that up. <laughs> the, the four is. It's like that, you know, it's like playing Uncharted 4 and then going back and playing one. You're like, fuck, sake. Yeah. That's why I never played that. Nathan Can't even mental. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't. So, yeah. so yeah, um, yeah. Say these, Devin. I did enjoy my time with uh, Torchlight, but I don't know something about uh, Diablo. 
I even played for quite a bit of time. It's the Wish fuck- version of Diablo. The Wish version of Diablo. I played that fucking Diablo Immortals on that on that tablet. Oh, fucking fuck. Did you play that? Yeah, I did play that for about, probably about 10 hours, I think I did. Was like, Any good? Oh. It was all right, but then like got to the point where it was just like, you need to start spending money now to progress. Right, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, it's a mobile game, isn't it? Fucking yeah. hell. It's <laughs> like, so, right, what we got here? Um, but yeah, so went through free controversially on the Switch. Oh, I played free. Yeah, we I, played. I saw... We played it on the cons. We played it on PS4, which PS4, yeah. was less controversial, but still was like, mm. oh, how can you ever play a Diablo game on a console? And they actually done a great job with the controller mapping, so mm. it wasn't actually a pig. I think the one thing they mi- they were it was missing of the consoles was like the seasons where you could right, yeah. start with a new character and it would be like a you know three month season mm. and it would reset at the end of it and that's it. Well, newer content I'm... and whatnot. But that wasn't there so nah. that stopped me from ever going back to it once I've gone through it once. But Switch version of yes. Diablo 3. Switch 3. And I didn't I don't I don't even know if it did have the seasons on Switch. Probably not. Probably the not. PS4 yeah. version. Um, but yeah I just went through the story on that um, um, played a little bit extra, done a couple of characters to got hats, see how they felt. Um, but yeah, Diablo 4 is probably the one I've spent the most time in. Um, and like I say, I, had a, I have done quite a bit of seasons. Mm. Um, I'm still yet to reach max level, which is level 100. It's probably about to fucking increase with that new oh, DLC, yeah. actually. But I've certainly had my, a, a decent play of... Uh, of the end game uh, to get okay. a feel for what it is. So I where can... are we at on the content roadmap? Has it had an expansion yet? Has it... I know oh, it's yeah, had no, a number of is... seasons, isn't it? And a number of seasons. I think it's on about fucking seven or eight now. I think. Yeah. It is. Uh, I think we're on the of the loot. I think it's called right. The, the, the year of the loot. Can you catch like up that? on those or like are they all gone no, from? I think they once they there's they're gone. You can. There is like a. Um, cosmetic shop. I don't know if you can catch the loot in that, possibly. But no, nah, I think once they're done, I don't know if they ever do like anniversary seasons. Okay, uh, right, yeah. Possibly, but no, nah, I think once they're gone. Um, but it's, it's a... all just cosmetic stuff, to be fair. It's, there's no it's story not... wrapped up in those. No, 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 no. Not like nah, Destiny, there's... where there's like there's some like story bits and pieces in their seasons. Yeah, no, nah, there's a few. You. There probably is some lore somewhere with voice notes and stuff, but right, you ain't yeah. getting no rich cutscenes. And do you pay for those seasons, or are they just rolled nah. into the game? Is there nah. a payable like? There's a payable um, enhance. What's it called? Battle, uh, pass, battle pass. That's it. Again, all just cosmetic stuff. Okay. Um, but no, it's it's just it's just events and stuff that are, are on there. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's enjoyable, yeah. Like I say it's the first one I've really have give a good go to, um, and yeah, played free. I can't remember how long I played. Bust out the switch and find out. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was always interesting, and I think it was like you said, rightly so. Those fucking cutscenes get you like just even like the intro video. They're always just fucking like high grade. Mm-hmm. So they were like CGI little movies, basically. Yeah, amazing. the money they must spend on them is... Yeah, Blizzard are fucking... They do it with all their games, don't they? I remember the uh, original Overwatch ones. They were like fucking quality and even stuff like, wow, you see that? And I'm like, oh, and then you play it and you're like, Christ. Yeah, <laughs> not, not quite what you advertise, but... Advertise, exactly. I knew, I knew that coming in. Yeah, we've got <laughs> Diablo 4 Vessel of the Hatred, October the 8th. That's- so that's the... the eighth. So that comes with a new class as well. I think Ooh. they tend to do that. I think what was the one in three? Was it Dark Reaper or something? Re... Yeah, the... Reaper of Souls was it? Yeah, I think you something like yeah. that. And then I think I believe that came with the next Reaper of Souls stuff. edition of the game. You can that's get. it. That's yeah. right. I believe, yeah, that came with a couple of extra classes. I believe the Necromancer, which is the Lord OG, the absolute fucking winner of it. Um, I actually played every single class on this on Diablo Four. What? Every, uh, Hold, like, on. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. How's the game structured? So hang on. What I mean is like is oh, an end, they mentioned the end game. So yes, yeah, yeah. You've got to the end of campaign. Campaign with, using... with all these characters. 
No. Oh, no, okay. Well, I was fucking hell. I was like, Jesus. He's no, absolutely I, gone to town on it. I've gone to town on it. No, I've done one full campaign full, right. with okay. a necromancer. Yep. And then you go into seasons, and I've got to level 50, which is halfway, um, with every single other character. But you can skip the campaign. So you can go skip the campaign and go straight into seasons. Mm, right. And the seasons... Like you, you said there's no like law attached to it. Is it just like messing around? Is it just doing the, the gameplay essentially? Yeah, yeah. And grinding for game. gear and, and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And do you get super leveled or boosted to seasons uh, level that's required or do you start? No, no you start off zero. Start oh, okay. off zero. Yeah. But you can just so skip the campaign. campaign but you can just skip the campaign. I feel like you do level up quicker. Hmm. Um, yeah. So the game's balanced that you can start seasons at level zero or one. Yeah. And you yeah, don't get yeah. your ass kicked. It's not. Don't okay. get your absolute. No, it does. It does a great thing of scaling. Um, well, I say that until well, yeah. you get to the ultimate end game where I am now, and you go from absolutely manageable to twenty levels high, and you're like, oh fucking hell, this is the real end game. But uh, we'll discuss that in a bit. So yeah. So, Hit me with your sticks. So I want to know about because people say you don't, the story doesn't matter in these games. It's all about the grind. It's all about the gameplay. Mm. It's all about the loot. Is there a narrative here that could potentially hook a story-focused player and keep them engaged, or yeah. does it fall off like a lot of these games do? And you're just like, okay, we're here for the uh, we're here for the action, and let's just I mean, use this vehicle to get us from A to B. Personally, for me, I felt like this one had more bollards about it than. Free, and we free like bollards. I like bollards. Free had a story. I yeah. cannot remember. All I remember is Diablo, and he was the end boss. And you had some old boy telling you where to go and what to do. This has a lot more mini cut, has like in-game cutscenes and stuff. There's sections where it is like them CGI thing. They're a lot more prominent in this. Um, there's like main character. Obviously, there's characters in the other one, but they sort of have their own time and stuff, and they're a lot more fleshed out this time around. Um, it, like I say, it's it definitely the whole game feels a lot more cinematic in in that sense. I think that's one of the things about these games is because of how simple they are to play, and it's all about the sort of build of the character. Well, and... you say they're simple. They are at a certain level, but actually... Well, that's it, yeah. I mean, the... that's the thing. I'm not one of these people that go into fucking... Min-max the... Exactly. Yeah. Like, I've got the ultimate build. I will right, yeah, yeah. Think. I'll go with what's... If I see a higher number, I'll be choosing that. <laughs> <laughs> that is to the level. That is probably the Diablo 101 not to do. Well, I learned that was the not to do in yeah. the end game. But yeah, throughout my playthrough of the campaign, that was what I was doing. Every time I got a bit, little boost of, of numbers, I was like, right, yeah, let's try this weapon. And then just carrying on from there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this yeah this whole the whole game had a much more engaging story. It wasn't that chuck away. Like The trouble is, is because of how long these games are, Right, and yeah, for large yeah. portions, I mean, you're just you are literally dungeon crawling, killing yeah. enemies and the enemies. Okay, you know this is this is not a Biff game. Biff <laughs> would be bored out of his fucking brain playing this game. What because, did you play it on? Just quick uh, on Xbox Series X and yeah. PC. I kept because of the cross progression. Yeah. I kept sort of switching between. It's annoying. It's because of how good it looks. I could get it 4K, like yes. essentially 4K 60 on that Xbox Series X. Mm. Um, but because I was like kept trying it on my 1440p powerhouse, but it was really struggling to sort of even keep it up at 1440p. But I just do like using the old mouse and keyboard because it is literally click, click, click. Can you Although, not use it on the Xbox? Oh, that's what you keyboard. can actually, can't you? Yeah, I forget about that. I think all two. these consoles claim it, but I've never sat down and I've tried it. I've never actually yet. tried it, to be honest. No. Um, but they've customised it, so even like I really like the PC version where you have the central keys and then the two little fucking health and uh, mana. Thing. Yeah, they've even implemented that now into consoles. So they, you, you know, there's it, they really have like there is no need for um, you know, there's going to be the fucking master race that go yeah, but the clicks are quicker on the yeah. PC. Uh... <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's so seamless and the cross-play, cross-compress, like cross, 
progression as well. You can literally just pick up wherever you want. I'd buy it on PS4 if I wanted now and carry on. That would yeah. be... No, not PS4, PS5. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, overall just it was a lot more cinematic. The characters, big shout out to Finchy. Finchy. Cross, crosses Lord over from you fat twat. <laughs> <laughs> He is so good, the character in it. He's not like, uh, he's completely different to his Final Fantasy character. I was going to say, who's the better <laughs> character? Uh, I'd, pro- I'd probably say the Final Fantasy just because okay. he's more relatable and a young lad, whereas in this he's playing like an old fucking fogey. Yeah. But with his absolute husky voice. He's got such he's... a unique... You can oh, just know is, it's him. It? You can immediately hear, oh, it's, you know... What's, you, what's his... I can't remember his name. His fucking real name. Uh, Ra- is it Ralph? Ralph. Yeah. Ralph. Yeah, nimi nimi. Something, I can't remember what it is now. Um, but yeah... Yeah, he was fucking standout quality, really good. Um, but it's also the villain in this, um, Lilith. She's like the big demon, winged demon that you see in everything. How do you pronounce that? In Innison. I N. Yeah, that's it. Son. It's going Finchy. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I was going to say. Sorry, fin- Ralph. Always Finchy. I remember I saw him in The Witch. He's oh, in, did you? He's, he's in that. And this isn't another, it's not like the Andy Circus story where he gets his cock and balls out. It's just that <laughs> he was playing like a serious character in that and it was like startling. But yeah, no, for those perverts out there, there's no cock and ball in that. So don't be, there is don't no be fin- going to watch The Witch if you want to see Finchie's bollocks. Cause you won't there. be putting your laughing gear around there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the uh, Lilith, yeah, the <laughs> main villain. Um, and that is essentially like the story of the game is is pacing her throughout the story. And, and isn't she a character in yeah, previous think, games or like around right. or a known entity of sorts? Yeah, so she's the daughter of hatred or something like oh, that. Okay. Yeah. So there's there is that that fucking lore is so deep. Do you need any of that or not really? That previous. You don't. No, it does quite a good job. It does sort of lay foundation to give you the heads up. That's there's so much. He must have fucking been in that booth for hours, old Ralphie boy. (laughs) There is so much fucking like just going through fucking dungeons and he'll be talking us that he's still waffling on about (laughs) it. Um, But yeah, just this time, like you'll get to like a destination now on this one and this is just like one big huge was thing it went was free open world it wasn't was it i don't think so i feel like it was no, more hub based that, yeah that's what i was thinking it was just like almost that not always refer to fucking monster hunter but that sort of section, yeah, section was like, well this is just one big fuck off map nice um and it would say like right next mission go to this castle or when you get to this castle, it will you know, like, get to the po- the door, whatever, and it will just zoom out and like go into a cutscene, and sort of it will give you a little bit of a lore spear about this castle and stuff. Nice. And then it will there will be like an in-game cutscene of you going in and stuff, and it's little cinematic parts like that um, that I was just like, oh, they really have sort of realised that this is a big thing for the Xbox. Because wasn't it uh, Rod? Big Rod, wasn't it? Who'd left he was brought in to finish it off, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they did start it and then they fucking chucked Gears 5 out and went, deal with that, you cunts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, left and went to there. Yeah, so, yeah they that's right. Him. He finished it off. That's it. So he thinks. So it definitely did have that sort of, yeah, triple A feel to it that this is the big summer blockbuster. Well, not summer, wasn't it? Last year now, wasn't it? Now? <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was 2023, but. Yeah. I don't remember the time. I feel like autumn would be a good time for that. But who, yeah, who bloody knows? So in terms of like gameplay and mm. well, and I suppose this leaks into like the build and the character and the loot, like that the whole exactly. game mechanics around it. Mm. How does this compare to some of the other stuff you play? What do you like? Is there anything you don't like about how it's structured or it could be leveling? It could be difficulty mm. spikes. It could be long time we it could be just the amount of gear which i know drives some people crazy yeah, yeah, so, like, there's a lot of toot being chucked at me here yeah i suppose that is the, the thing i mean the annoying thing is and i can see why people do skip like the hardcore players do just skip the campaign because it's much like destiny and any it's all toss thing. it's all toss until yeah. you get to the end game yeah. so like that's why i just 
like throughout that whole game, I was just like, yeah, whatever's got the next power, I've, I've got this now. How and long is that campaign roughly? I, I, don't, I think I'm on 50 odd hours, so I reckon it's probably 25, 30, okay. I reckon. I assume there's distractions and side things. and Yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. So I constantly kept getting sidetracked with yeah. these yeah little things to do. Um, it's really interesting, I've played it when I didn't have Game Pass, so I didn't have any uh, live, so it literally was just on me, on me Todd. Um, right, yeah. So I then played it for a little bit and was like, and then it kept saying like, oh, World Events, buy a bicycle to play this. I was like, fucking hell, yeah, cool one. And then when I got oh, course, um, yeah. Game Pass for um, Hellblade oh, 2, I was like, oh, fuck, cool shit, I'll jump in now. And just how much the world changes in terms of the more things that are open to you, events that are happening, obviously the PvP stuff, yeah. which I've tried to get involved in, but it doesn't seem to work for me. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing. You basically go to this like section of the map, it keeps changing, and then you like have to kill stuff to get this currency, and then you yep. put this currency in like this bin, and then that <laughs> opens up the PvP. But I've done it loads of times, and I was like, right, where is this bloke I'm supposed to be killing? <laughs> so I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, to be honest. But um, sounds yeah, like an Elden Ring to get co yeah, working. Yeah, exactly. It's much like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, I mean, there's a lot. I don't. Uh, that's the thing. I don't really hate much about this. Is mm. and that's not to say that it's like the best perfect game. I just love this slim simplicity of it, mm. and it is just literally click and fucking chop heads. And just rely on them fucking chopping. I just always chop and change those skills. I love it. It's, it's so easy to respec in this game. So if you do a build and you're like bored, yeah, it's just like it just always seems to work. Whatever I do, you sort of like there is no like ultimate build. Just everything does work. It's just when you get to the real nitty fucking gritty stuff when you're in that fucking end game doing nightmare dungeons on mm. World Tier Ten or whatever. <laughs> You're like, I need the perfect build, but anything you do sort of works well together. It's just, it's all fucking RNG and stat based. Um, but yeah, the campaign was a lot more enjoyable because it had that cinematic thing. It, it was worth doing rather than going, right, well, obviously people just play this for the fucking loot yeah. rather than skip this. I actually didn't have an enjoyment playing. Therefore, but saying that like it was cinematic was brilliant, but. You know, from free, there was no different. Like, there wasn't any added, like, things in the game. You, like, there was no puzzles to do. There was no, you know, no different gameplay. It is still, it's almost a sort of it ain't broken, don't fix it thing. You know, yeah. they've just sort of improved it with different abilities, um, different um, leveling things like you have skill trees now and then it turn once you live level them up all your skills you then you go on to these things called paragon points and again it's just all more stats yeah. adding to this build um but yeah in terms of the actual basic gameplay there's not a lot new which probably will work some people but for me what i enjoy in that game um, for me i like it yeah like exactly peak practice, yeah. isn't it peak practice Ex Exactly that. Three runs of that. Mm. Interesting. So, what's your? What are the highlights of your build or your abilities? What's some of the really cool shit that you've ever found, or you, you like doing, or the powers Ooh. that you've unlocked? And it can be in any that's of the classics. Good. You've dabbled with all of them. Well, that's so it. Got... Yeah, just trying with all of them. Really, like I said, I did the campaign with the necromancer, which is the ultimate slob character, which is. Feet I up. don't even need to do anything. Just fucking feet up. Send them little minions out. But yeah. that, like, the more you progress, like, you start off with these little skeletons. Yeah. And the more you move out, you can get into stronger skeletons. Then you get into skeletons with fucking uh, bow and arrows. Then when you get to the top fucking levels, you can get yourself this golem, this fucking little golem, which is a big fucking tank that just melts everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just these different abilities. You have, there's, like, all different types. You have, like, blood... There's like blood types, there's bone types. You can chuck out these bone spears or you can drain their blood. Then you can make the but they make characters explode. There's like these like ten yeah. tendrils and stuff, which like you well, every every person you kill turns into a corpse. You can then use one skill to blow that corpse up. Yeah. 
and then then that can turn into blood. It's just like you can connect and everything. Chain all this shit everything. together. Exactly, yeah. And it was just interesting just like that, just fucking mixing it up and changing. The weapons, to be honest, I never really changed the weapons like, other than uh, the one The one class that I felt found that did have a different feel was the um, Barbarian, which is like your standard sort of hack and slash yeah. where you are. But like every time it would always be like an axe or a sword. There's not really like you ain't getting no whips or fucking maces or anything no like that. Whips. No whips. Come you can on. Either... Exactly. Yeah. Belmont um, whip surely would have Belmont been nice here. Exactly, but it is just those fucking different. Um, yeah, them skills just are mixing it up. You get like these special ones that fucking absolutely devastate. Like I had like this bone um, sight clone. So it would just like make like an AOE attack and just fucking just keep. But then that goes on to a cooldown. You're like, ah, oh, fuck's yeah. sake. But yeah. you just, anyone that got into that would just be an absolute fucking, you could just, it just, it's almost like a sort of power trip. Like, because you feel so fucking powerful. Like a sandbox of just yeah, destruction ex- that you can. Exactly that. <laughs> and you got like a mountain in this game as well. So you have like a horse, you can just fucking leg it across the whole map. It's fucking so big as well. Yeah. And there's loads of like little mini dungeons, there's little cellars you can go down, you just go down and it's literally just one little sort of arena thing and you just kill shit loads and then the chest comes up. The, you just get sidetracked so much, it's much like a sort of fallout where you go, right, there's my destination, I'm going to go over there to do that mission. On the way you just get sidetracked by so many little things. And they're all very simple, like I say, it's just little dungeons, little groups of of fucking enemies then these little timed events that anyone mm. can join um and then i don't believe they had these in anything but they in this is where you had things called world bosses which were like big fuck off yeah. dragon type things and like i say I, I, you can only do them with having the thing this is why i like to like now so many games now i'm just like I'm, i might have to buy a new pc to keep on pc because yeah, you, it, you don't have fucking Exactly, there's yeah. so much it cuts out. It adds of it. up like, after a it while. It really does, doesn't it? You're like, oh, like just a game like this, where it's really cool to have the world populated and have access to the world events. Exactly that. In. It's like playing, it's almost got these MMO qualities to it. Exactly that, yeah, it really has. So yeah, so that's why I keep playing it on PC because I think well, I'm, I've always got access to that on on thing. Like fucking Hell Divers too. I ain't got PS Plus with me, so I can't even play that game in the minute. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Fucking like, like, well, I literally won't even let me play it, you know, offline. It's an online game. I can't play it. <laughs> um, but this, this lets you play uh, offline, but fuck me. It's, it's so bare bones. So, so when you're playing on PC, mm. you're playing the Xbox store version. Yep. 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 Do you need to have. Yes. So you don't need to have Xbox Gold to play that online. No, 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 not on PC. PC. Uh, the, well, I don't, uh, I don't know. It's because I've got the got, ultimate. Okay. The console, I get you get everything in that, didn't you? Yeah. Good point. I wonder if you buy just well, you PC Game Pass. I think you still get it for that. Look. I think you still do. You? Well, I, I wonder whether you'd think. even. I suppose you'd need that because you know, you've. Are you playing it all through Game Pass? You, you, you've yeah, all through Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hang on. No, I'm not. No, so I've bought it for you for Christmas. I've it. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing the disc version. So you're playing. So that's that's locked in, and you're playing. Yeah, so, you're playing it on PC via the Game Pass. Through, through the Game Pass. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wonder if you buy it just off of. I don't even know if you can buy it on fucking. Um, I would battle. assume that it would just battle let net. you play it because that's part of the PC. Yeah, master rate like they'll because you can't. I don't think you can even buy just gold or core on PC. No, that's like true. That. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's that's worth noting for people, I guess that yeah, I mean, if you it can, really does get it really on Steam, does. and then you ain't got to worry about any of that nonsense because mm. there's no, there's none of that bollocks going on, and it clearly adds an extra dimension mm. to the game because those world events on like when I played Guild Wars a few times, they were always like yeah. pretty cool. I yeah. think they're gonna do that in Monster Hunter, you know. Oh really? Well, I don't know. I made that up. I thought I saw it somewhere, and that would be fucking. Cool. Imagine that, like eight of you just taking down this behemoth. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the biggest thing is definitely getting past that campaign. Like I say, it's standard sort of RPG MMO 
sort of thing where you're playing through that campaign, you're getting these r- rare and uncommon thing, but it's all to until you get to them legendaries. Um, yeah. And yeah, so then once I played the campaign, like ordinarily I would have just binned it there, but I was like, no, fuck it, I'm going to actually play it. So I got to like level 60 almost, I think it was on with the Necromancer. And then I realised that I hadn't, I hadn't entered, I think the season must have stopped because yeah, when the season stops, it puts you back into, I think it's called something like the Eternal Realm or something, mm. where you can't use those characters in the new season, so you have to start back from scratch again. Oh. So, like, I could, yeah, so I cut, it's like all my characters now, once that new season it's hits, gone. are gone. So you can what... still play with them in, yeah. like, but you just don't get access to the, the seasonal stuff. Interesting. Yeah, that's Which... why I was, that's what I wanted to play after the main game on um, mm. on free, but they, they didn't have it on the nah. the console it version is... at the time. Because I like the idea of just doing like a burst of it and then yeah, that's it, it. Exactly. just and that being is... binned, basically. Exactly. That's what I've found with that Seasons is what it's like. It really, I can just go on for fucking half hour, an hour, just click heads and fucking roll heads and it's quite fun. And it's just, it is just, loads of fucking bollocks it's just like loads of enemies in one area there's this fucking I don't even know what it's called you go to the oh fuck what's it called this little anyway this is a zone that's like the red zone where everything is and they, they have these little things called the whispers the tide something tide is it called hell tide hell tide that's it the hell tide and it's like a different section of the map it moves every sort of like hour or something and everyone would just go to it and then there's like these little pots that you put like these free resources in and it just spawns a fuck ton of enemies and it's just everyone just going yeah, yeah, killing it and going it's just it. yeah and it's just building up your fucking and just dropping fucking legendaries left right and centre and you just watch your fucking XP just going Boot. and then obviously <laughs> like the higher you go the more um, but that's where it then becomes you're, you're getting legendaries every drop, and that's when it starts. Like, like I say, you don't, you no longer start looking at the um, numbers, the fucking green tick saying there's more. It's more like the perks of what that armor gives you. Right. Yeah. So, like, I had one that was like, ev- what was that? I had like a re- like a health regen for every hit, every hit or yeah, like yeah, every time cool. you dash, you get a boost of like agility, so you can run and stuff. And that's where, like, the yeah, and then it starts becoming like a fucking. That's when the builds start happening. Um, but again, like the stuff I get into is nowhere near like where the fucking ultra, ultra fucking big boys. They're like, so this this the way it's end game then? Because so you mm. do the campaign, you then got the seasonal stuff, which is different. Yeah, yeah it's, it's but... like I say, it's more. It's it's just dungeons again. You have got like it will go to a zone and then it will have like I say, there's these little icons. They're called whispers, and you have to get you have to get like ten of these. Like each of these little event things will give you like three whispers, and if once you collect ten, then you take that 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 to the tree of whispers and then that gives you like an ultra loot so it's, it's basically that that is the loop you're just fucking going around doing this and it's just little there's dungeons there's cellars there's world events there's world bosses and stuff and it's just that it's just a cycle of kill kill collect loot go mm. take it to him go back exactly the same um and then you get to uh the 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 proper end game which is these nightmare dungeons which just like to I say, this you have to progress yeah you have to you have to progress you have to at least be well i'm level 50 i can play them now but they go up they like 70, whack you up to, up to 70 yeah. and you have to be a minimum of world tier 3 um i think there's ten, i think there's 10 or is it at, uh, no that can't it, be that can't be eight right or nine on three is it eight? what's there Mate. jesus Let's see how many there are. Because I'm on three and it's fucking hard. It's a real... Because oh, right. that's the thing, like, on two, you you just feel like a daddy. Like, it's manageable. I don't think I ever died or whatever. No, no, it's only four. No, it's only four. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a three... Which is yeah, veteran. That's it. So two's veteran. I don't know what one. This is basically so. difficulty levels as well. Yeah, this is like, like difficulty level. Yeah. yeah. So then three is nightmare, and that's where you unlock these dungeons, which are like the fucking they're like the raids. You know, they're not oh. as complex as the raids, but they're just fuck ton of hard enemies, and they normally have like a sub boss and then a big boss at the end. 
you could co-op with this if someone else you knew yeah. was playing it. And I'm that's sure it's the scale difficult and, and whatnot. But exactly, that's the difficult thing where I haven't had anyone to play it with. Mm. I'm relying on fucking other people, um, randomers, and randomers, and that, like when you on the normal tears going through the world there's fucking hundreds but when you go through those nightmare dungeons there ain't yeah. many people it's doing still a lot that of people, isn't it? <laughs> exactly so that's on like oh this is a real step up this is the real end game so it'd be nice to go and play that with uh i think our oh, adventure that's tier one so yeah. i never played on that because that's like real baby shit <laughs> <laughs> but yeah well tier two that's you know like i say it's no, it's no struggle it's lovely. Um, but yeah, I got to every character I got up so they could go to level three. I think you have to be level 50, I think. So yeah, I got to that. And then, um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I've, I've attempted it, but just die every time because yeah. I'm just on my Todd. I'm like, oh, even though fucking, you know, like I'm sending out fucking minions and stuff, it just like 20 Can you like send like a flare out for someone to help? You know, like in Monster Hunter, you oh, could yeah. find that yeah. SOS. Well, you can I always do put um you can open like you can always have your thing open right i think i did because i kept joining people's games as well if there was like a, a, a dungeon but then it never let it just always said no it wouldn't let me do oh. it or servers fall nah. which is not because i always kept doing that as well i kept logging out to see if i could get into a different fucking lobby yeah um but yeah it's just sort of it was like it's all behind you you don't like go into a lobby or anything you know you just no. that's just how the world is um, so is there is yeah. there like a any story content in this end game or is this pure just challenge? No, I don't, stuff? it's I'm, not like I'm, always. I can't remember what you said that that fucker's name was. Now she's like always oh, a demi. Oh, Lilith. Lilith. She's like there she's is not... there is that there is like a fucking Uber. I think you have to do like there is an Uber version of her. I think she is is called something like a, a demi Lilith or whatever. But as far as I've I've been, there's no sort of story elements to it. Um, other than these dungeons, I don't know if you get a cutscene for completing that or anything. Finchy waffling again. Yeah, it probably is. Kiss but no, me on the nose. Kiss me on the nose. No, it's all just like I say. It's just this loop of getting fucking loot. And I don't know if that's just because this one is the loot, but it's it's much like fucking Destiny. There's all yeah. fucking everything you get has like a fucking lore attached to it and that's how they tell their story but no it's definitely not you're not going to new areas or like say you're not getting these cutscenes for doing these these whispers and doing these hell tides and the fucking what i suppose the other things um strongholds as well um where it's just like a big castle that's got fucking bosses in it and stuff no, it all just like it really is, it is the gameplay of this. It just like that is the the fucking bread and butter, um, and yeah, the story definitely is like a step up, and they've made it more cinematic. But it, I think someone like Biff who loves like a a thing, I think you would enjoy this. Uh, like obviously through through playing it, but I wouldn't say that this is you know this is now a fucking um, a story base game or anything no. like that it's just like an improved version of it's it's like the quintessential diablo now people will go that nah, fucking ain't <laughs> but you know be like, defeated it cannot be defeated people i don't think the diablo community like it too much because they've sort of changed it so much in nah, terms of being, yeah but um Up your ass diablo community exactly but yeah these it's definitely has a triple a feel to it now and that they've just done a real good of of um crossing it over so you literally can play wherever you want it doesn't f like like you say with four they've done a great job of making it a console game and it's it's like that it really doesn't matter what you play it on now it's 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 there, it's, it works. But it's there, it's... It just yeah. works. The, it just works. That's what Todd said about Fallout. <laughs> yeah. What was that of a bloke said? Don't you guys have phones? <laughs> that was about a mortal, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> or it might have been Elder Scrolls, Blake. I thought it was one of those. Oh, that was it, it, yeah. one of, I think... It, and I think, you, I think you're right, it was about Diablo. Yeah. Because it was I like just, BlizzCon. Yeah, it was BlizzCon, that was it. And yeah. like, this weren't announced. No, and exactly. Then, we didn't like, know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. And then yeah, that bloke got up and he went, "Is this? What did he say? He said something about oh, is this a prank or an Easter? 
April Fool's Day joke or something, and then they went, "Have you got phones? What's the matter?" Yeah, didn't, yeah. didn't go down but well. Again, man. like Diablo, like fucking immortal. As much as it's a mobile game, so you you got the limitations, but the still the fucking the 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 gameplay loop is is Diablo. It's that fucking yeah. the same thing, and I it, I do love it. I don't know why. It's like one of those games that you like playing it you're like the fuck like, what's to love it but like, it's probably for someone to watch someone playing it you'd be like what is this it's just literally monotonous shit but there's something i don't i think it's because i like i love that fucking uh fucking pressure washing simulator yeah. <laughs> again monotonous shit but this i just love how i don't i can play this and not even think that's what i enjoy about this game one of those games where like fuck me you play this... something like no, play something like fucking Witness, where you like need mm. every minuscule or Elden Ring. You need yeah. every fucking ounce of fucking concentration because you're dead. Yeah. This I can just sit here and go, click dead, click dead. He's probably he's probably been playing it throughout this recording. And I haven't noticed. Yeah, exactly, it's, it's, exactly. It's that easy for him. <laughs> Does uh... it ever? Because it feels like <clears throat> there's a lot to do in the game. Do you mm. ever feel? Like overwhelmed, I'm, or overwhelmed. I'm gonna get left behind. Like, do you, do you know, because the thing with Destiny is like you had to keep playing it, and if you didn't, yeah. you'd fall behind. Then it's like, oh, they vaulted half the shit. You can't catch up. The onboarding think, garbage. Like, how does this handle that? Because there's obviously a lot of stuff always yeah. coming to keep I people think engaged. Maybe because of playing it solo, that I didn't get that. I think maybe right, had yeah. there been a group of us playing it, and I think Dave does play it, doesn't he? Oh, with his boys. And he plays a lot of his boys and cuts us out of it. That's it. He said, "No, no Another time barb for, you, for him to digest." <laughs> I think if it, it was doing, if it was like playing with Dave and like he would be like, "Right, all we're gonna do is these fucking nightmare dungeons and having to get to that fucking peak." But I think it does. He it, put it us does... on fucking brutal in V Rising. Me and Paper struggling with the basics. <laughs> in you go, boys. Oh fuck me, it was I, hard. I think it does a good job of. Of not letting anyone feel left behind. Okay. Like I say that there was fucking. I'm well, an think, end game world tier four. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, I think the rest is fine. Like when I did that first world boss, I think yeah. I was like level fifty. There was like fucking level sixteen in there. Yeah, loving was, life. Yeah, I think <laughs> it does. It stops that from happening. I think they they want it so more people play it and they don't feel yeah. left out. Um, and I think that's probably why the fucking hardcores don't like it because you've got scrubs in there clicking as Ed, many as heads in there. Like the likes of me, they're like, "Hey, how's he fucking get? How's he doing seasons? This should be for the ultra boys." But they've made it so accessible that yeah, anyone can play. And yeah, this, it's hard. The only thing that really they've made it because they got so much shit for them all. They've made the only stuff that is is the cosmetic stuff. And I mean, yeah. you do have some like badass armor that you can get, and like weapons and stuff, and fucking glowing mounts and whatnot. But it is all cosmetic. There's nothing. There's like in-game currency, and I think yeah, a lot of the fucking the dun like the the mo the nightmare dungeons that gives you some of the real cool loot and stuff. But yes, yeah, so there's yeah, no but... like um, there's no egregious monetization here as far as no. you can see. That's no, good. I've the options no, like, no. there. But I've played to not. level 60 and I've never once had to buy anything. There's like these consumables. Can you, get you buy stuff though that is of like upgraded ability or do you know what I'm saying? Like, is there a, is yeah. there a small like pay to win potential if they were to lock certain well, shit behind it or if they don't really do that? I don't think there is any in there. Not that I've seen. I've not really mm. looked at anything, but certainly I haven't seen any X. There might be an XP booster. I don't know. The one I got, mm. though, that like, was getting game was giving me an 8% boost. Yeah. I was like, That's fuck got some me. some fucking boost. That's got some fucking boost. If you're paying for an absolute 50, 50% 50 on, I feel like they did get stick for this, but is this, what's this fucking, what's it called? Speaking of homeless... Is that that new one by the bus shelter? Is he still oh, yeah. there? Has he been moved on? Uh, he wasn't there today when I ran past. I ran past and he went there. I was expecting him. I seen him the other day and he was on his phone. Yeah, he likes books. <laughs> he, he reads Apparently. books. He, yeah. He fucking, yeah, but he was like, when I finish with Moxley's book, I might drop that off to him. I'll be off again. There I go, boy. I won't because it's a paperback. It's probably worth about 50 quid. They're fucking <laughs> rare as rocking all shit, that one is. <laughs> Here we go. I found a thing. So. 
What have we got here? So, well, tank, well, Diablo Four, one yeah. of the headline, the most egregious pay to win in recent history. <laughs> Is that is that the no, Four? Is that? That up. <laughs> the Diablo so World Tier One recommended from level one to fifty. Enemies are easy. Yeah. World Tier Two, level one to fifty. Enemies are more challenges. Adds a twenty percent XP, fifteen yeah. percent more gold. Monsters yeah. drop more items. So that's what yeah. I was playing on. World Tier Three recommended for levels fifty to seventy. Okay, yeah. Enemies are more formidable. Your resistance to all elements is reduced by twenty five percent. Additional hundred percent XP and twenty percent more gold from monsters. And World Tier Four is recommended <laughs> for levels seventy plus. Enemies are fearsome. Your oh. resistance to all elements are reduced by fifty percent. <laughs> But you get 200% XP. Yeah. I might just stick it on World Tier 4. I think I might just have to... Get one mission done and take the I think I have title. to do one of those dungeons to unlock for. Oh, I okay. Um, but yeah, uh, additionally, World Tier 3 unlocks additional items, content, and world changes on top of their respected enemies. Sacred and unique items now drop in World Tier 3 and 4. Okay. Hey, yeah, it's pretty standard. Like, there's yeah. certain things that are... Nightmares should be used to unseal nightmares, so you can unseal nightmare dungeons in World Tier 4. That's the thing. Helltide appears across Sanctuary. So that's free. That's what I'm on now. Yeah. Champion monsters with damage-resistant auras now appeal. And then, yeah, there's another thing of World Tier 4 only. Ancestral items. So this is something... This is, that I say, this is... A, you've got end game, and then you've got end, end game. Oh, okay. Ancestral... Oh, and boys. Ancestral item. So it's just another tier. So you've got like legendaries, okay, ancestral energy. But uh, so you've got like four. Like, yeah, uh, this is the end end game, which I've not got to yet. Um, but like uh, yeah, unlimited should... content for people if they really want to. Yeah. Dive God, in. So many fucking hours. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's, it, really, it is what it says on the tin endless demon killing. Absolute loot. You do feel a bit overwhelmed with how much... There's so much shit just goes in the bin. There's so much stuff yeah. I just go, no, You just no. break it down, can you? Or... Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. why I tell Silly. I get so much money. But I don't even spend the money. Like, you can go and buy new stuff. But then I think, I'm going to find another fucking... There's so much loot in this game. Like, I literally just go to one of them and someone will drop. And you'll just hear it go... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, Taking oh. the title. So, yeah. Well... Any other business on the old Diablo forefront? It's uh, uh, sounding pretty positive at the moment. Yeah, I've got to say, the, yeah. the change to the open worlds made some. Yeah, I've got to say, yeah, that like different. that. It really did like the the areas of the game and stuff. There's some there's some really annoying thing that's uh, you can use your horse to traverse, but then there's like cliffs that you have to like climb. You have to press B to climb up. Mm. So if it's just like a little gap, you can jump over it with your horse, but no, otherwise you have to get off your horse. Which then goes into a five second countdown, <laughs> like fucking thing. You're like, ah. But to be fair, traversing the map is really good fun. And the different areas of the map, it very much is a big map. You've got like a desert area, you've got a swamp area. Oh, right, nice. And you can just it, seamlessly it, travel between all this. Completely. All fast yeah, travel, I assume, to all fast certain travel, yeah. landmarks. When you get to a camp and you like a hub, like yeah, a city. A little. And unlocks, yeah, and you've got so much shit. Is the fast travel there. contextualized, or do you just does it just fade to black and you go, or does your character like whittle away? No, into... yeah. It's like a portal. You get like a portal. Oh, okay. Goes, yeah. So it, I suppose it is contextualized. Yeah. So the which is good as well. There's also an an, uh, an option Hello. when you complete a dungeon. In your roll menu, you can leave the dungeon so you don't have to fucking run all the way back well, through it. Well, is that contextualised or is that just... Well, they do just portal it. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing, you get the same portal out. <laughs> there are a lot of portals in the game. Yeah. yeah. Even old Ralphie gets his portal out, you have to go to a different area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is, it's rinse and repeat. It's, it's more Diablo, like, you know, if you didn't enjoy free... Get out of the kitchen. Well, uh, I was no. saying that because you didn't really like No, but I think it. I'd like this more just because... I think you'd like this more because... One, one has... of those two dregs dragging me down. Yeah. Get rid, cut the dead weight. Get rid of those fucking slots. And I think the cinematic would be enough for you to it, to hook your bollards. 
And, and even like these world events and the online yeah. element to it. Well, this is the thing. Like you enjoyed your time with Destiny, and that's yeah, yeah. Like that, wasn't it? The times we yep. go in and go, oh fuck, there's a world event yeah. here, go and kill this thing. Yeah. And that is exactly the same. It is now on Game Pass, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I would. And yeah, if you just twenty five hours of clicking heads, fucking rolling breads. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Last, <laughs> last question. Mm. Favourite class, go. I mean, Necromancer is Still the Mac king. Daddy. Still okay. king. And you can make, uh, like, I, what, I didn't though, ask you about this, but, like, character creator, you can... Yeah, so the character some... creator is incredible, it's, like, yeah. yeah, with how it looks and the shit you can put on it. And, again, it, there's, like, once you get to a town, you can go to a wardrobe, you can change it all in-game for no fucking little currency. Completely respec your character whenever you want uh, for little currency as well. There's no fucking damaging... Uh, you know, currency hit or anything, and there's just numbers and numbers and numbers. Just play around with it and see what works best for you. Like, there yeah. wasn't any a time I was like, Fuck, this build's not working for me. It yeah. worked, it just unlike Elden Ring, where I had like the worst build of all time, and it really put me on the fucking back foot. <laughs> exactly, I mean, you can respec, and I went, Yeah, but those are that's a finite resource. What if I fuck yeah. the respec up too many times? <laughs> Exactly that. They went, Whoa! <laughs> That's the Souls fans. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. Much like the Diablo fans. But yeah, um, yeah. No, this is. I just, I just really did enjoy this. It's there's not a drastical thing to say. This is like the evolution of Diablo. This is very much more Diablo, just refined for a broader audience. I'd say. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that will annoy a lot of the hardcores because they love this as their their little. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed this. It's hard to it, it, the faults are of you know of how simplicity the amount of simplicity in this game is, but, but that's that's what I love about it. Yeah. yeah, that's a staple of it. Exactly that enjoyable loot. What's what's better than just popping like fucking. 30 demons heads in this brutal yeah. chain that you just put together of all these a bit like there is a good that it should mm. be easy it should be powerful to fucking just destroy a horde of shit like that yeah and watch it all just go it's part of the fucking fun exactly well that. excellent i mean i won't even do the formalities this isn't going in self-storage no, so there's, there's it, just man. no point even considering that so the, uh, the self-storage company not getting a lot of use lately, which is good. Um, platinum, gold, silver, bronze. I'll exclude bronze. I'll probably bronze. exclude silver from you as well. I think we're in the higher yeah. echelons here. So it's it's down to the, the, the gold and the platinum areas. Let's, let's go bollards out. Diablo, Diablo 4. Where are we four. going? It's going to get Bandau Ballade. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. Always believe it. Do you know forever I thought that song was just saying go (laughs) (laughs) Go into it. When did this come out? Was this this year? I thought it was last year this fucking game. What was that last let's get all let's not get organized. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. What's the actual date though? Because that's gonna bother me. I said Um, autumn. Was it summer? June. June. Fuck me, the height of summer. Dude, wow. yeah, I'd say gold for me. A real 9 out of 10, I'd say. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy my... I really... I am a Diablo fan. Mm. Um, and yeah, like that, I, I played through free and enjoyed my time with it, but was very much like, oh, there was a story there, but that's, I, I didn't yeah, really yeah. pay attention to it. Whereas this, I paid attention to it. I enjoyed the characters, the, the sort of, you know, the it's a simple story. Um, that's got fucking shitloads of depth and lore for there for the uber nerds that love all that stuff. But it's an easy thing to follow. There's cutscenes to keep you interested. The pacing of the game, that might be in a question, but that's just because of the notion of what you're doing. You're, you, the cutscenes aren't that frequent. You're doing like fucking 50 dungeons and 50 missions, and then yeah. you're rewarded with a, a bitch ass cutscene. But whereas you got three or four. In a fucking in like I think you got like one a chapter in in Diablo three, like this you're getting fucking you know five six or whatever a chapter, um, but yeah it's brilliant it's good there's there's enough for everybody if it's your type of game, 
Uh, and if you've played previous Diablo games and if you, you want to, you know, I think it's, an, it's that much of an improvement over three. Yeah. But it's, there's something for you boys. Um, yeah, mm. give it a go and give those classes. I didn't answer a question you said earlier. What was your favourite class? I Necromancer. thought you said Necromancer. I said Necromancer, but what also was a standout for me well, was... Well, I'll tell you what, the... we'll make it harder for you. Rank them. Necromancer. Second was... What was it called? Can you remember the Druid. classes? Okay. Druid, which you can then turn into a bear or a wolf. Okay. <laughs> um, Got to go wolf. Well, I don't wolf, know, bear. Yeah. Just Big people. bear was a bastard. You can combine the two, so I had both. I was fucking mixing it up. Turn me into thing. Thirdly, would I'd say sorcerer, just because, again, feet up, you can just dish out shit. Yeah. Magic. Um, then probably rogue, which yep. is like a sort of range character, and then um, barbarian. Barbarian the uh, swap. Barbarian last, which is good, but very much that's the one time that I was did feel in danger sometimes. Until you start getting like, especially when you start off at the beginning, you've literally just got one. Yeah. Once you start getting some enemies fucking chasing you down, or if you like start going into world events and you ain't got many skills, you're like, oh. Whereas before you you get fucking complacent with your minions, you're like, yeah, they'll they'll sort yeah, that out. Yeah, I'll just run off if they. Whereas the barbarian, yeah. you've got to be in there, putting exactly. yourself at risk. Yeah, I yeah. never have liked those, even like MMOs, and I've always I like the ranged approach. Mm. Keep keep me out of trouble. Exactly I'll that. Be in there tanking and doing that, I think that was shit. That's all of them. I'm sure that's all okay, of them. Can you fucking remember? You're like a monk. No, I say there's a there's a new one. Oh, get it. There was actually in three. No, that is it. Yeah, barbarian, rogue, sorcerer, necromancer, druid. Yeah. So this monks. new one. I don't know what the new class is. Maybe they might bring. Yeah, the monk. There definitely was a monk in four, weren't there? Uh, three, weren't there? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know what the new one that's coming. Uh. In this new DLC. Spirit but again, born. Yeah. Spirit born. That's right. Mm. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. It sounds interesting, but mm. I, we'll yeah, we'll, I might purchase that, to be fair, because, yeah, more story is required. That is probably the only thing about the uh, thing. Unless I'm fucking with I'm sure I'm pretty sure there isn't any story stuff in these seasons. I have to look into this now. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure there isn't. It's more just fucking do this and get your fucking shit and then just keep progressing up 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 and up um but yeah this one is this is deals this is uh a, a new expansion that in, is a whole story i think it's a whole new area as well i think you go off, away from sanctuary i believe Lovely. like sanctuary is the big map so yeah this is into the jungle i believe it was a bit Ooh. of a jungly area in it but yeah yeah so uh yeah all, all thumbs up here play Lovely. diablo 4 Diablo 4 earns itself a lovely goal from Sir Adkins, and that'll be it for another episode of Idle Game Chat. So, as usual, nothing more for us to say other than thanks for your time and ta da. <laughs>